Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, I decided to bring the uh, singles reading back as well as the spirit messages. Um, I did have a poll up on my community tab of my channel about a month ago asked, asking viewers to participate and vote in what kind of readings they would like to see and the spirit messages and singles was part of one of the selections that was voted back in. So I hope you enjoy this. Give me some feedback, comments. Let me know how you like these readings. I'll be doing them for a while again. See how they go. I may keep them. I may not. And uh, we'll see. So Aries, welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying, uh, staying safe. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Um, <clears throat> watching. And I would say, I guess, take it how it resonates for you. And uh, I can also pick up on past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind. So this is intended for uh, singles who have no connection at all, or maybe you do have a connection, but you're not together um, kind of energy. I do offer a love connection reading, a regular love reading, which takes a look at a connection you have with somebody, so whether you're together or not. So this is intended for singles, really, who don't have anybody and wondering when is new love coming in, who is coming towards me. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull an energy oracle and see what their energy, current energy, or their surrounding energy is like for them. What kind of energy they're sitting in, or what their energy is. And then with this deck here, we'll see what their spirit energy is like. And then with this deck, what their love energy is like. And then we'll clarify the energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at um, how and where you may meet them. A timeline of perhaps when. And then what kind of connection it would be. So... Of course, with uh, the current conditions in the world and the quarantine, isolation, I don't really see anything, um, you know, people dating or getting out there till summer or fall. So that's when most of the timelines have been coming out <clears throat> summer to fall anyway. So, all right. So Aries, Aries, Aries. So let's see what the energy of this person is for eerie spirit please singles new love who's coming towards them all the information you need to know eeries if you're not familiar with my channels down below in the description box as well as the first pin top comment uh decks i'm using uh, links to purchase them if you choose to uh, social media links your playlist love in general if you'd like to go back i consider them timeless um how to reach out for reading um if you'd like to tip donate send a gift that info is below as well if you're not comfortable using PayPal as uh, energy exchange or donation during the super uh, during the premiere only super chat is open and available for tips donations exchanges energy exchanges if you choose to and if you do thank you all right Aries so let's get on with your singles reading for those who are single wanting to know about new love who's coming towards them for Aries spirit please Aries spirit please what are the what is the energy of possible new love person coming towards Aries please thank you so much what is the energy Oop. what we got two here so I've been taking one but the last reading I did two came out also so we have well we got seven eight so we have community and we have indecision so community in this deck means a spiritual community of some kind obviously right now uh, could be online social groups communities of that nature somebody could be very spiritual here or a very social person who likes to, you know, engage with people, you know, social groups, likes to go out and do, you know, things among people. But right now we're kind of in isolation. So it could be online uh, social groups and things like that. But we could have somebody here who's very indecisive that has a hard time making up their mind or choosing a path. We do have seven, eight. So that is, you know, progression in a way. Um, so we have an energy here for some who's indecisive about something maybe they go online to community uh support groups or social groups to get advice guidance because they have a hard time making decisions in life maybe they need spiritual guidance or some sort of guidance in some way huh okay if you do add up the eight and the seven though that is <coughs> 15 which is six which is about a very healing and balancing number, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see here. We'll see. They could be just at a crossroads at their life right now and they're not sure what's gonna happen in the future. I'll 
also. All right, so what is the spirit? Oh, that's way too many. What is the spirit energy of this person? All right, I'm feeling those two. All right, so we have a child's love and ground yourself. So I just did uh, Virgo, and they got a child's love also. But you know what? I, I don't like getting repeat uh, repeaters, especially from a reading. I just did. So spirits tell me to put them back and shuffle again. So I didn't really have a chance to shuffle all too well. All right, so I did not feel comfortable with that. So please don't question me as to why I didn't keep them. I get a lot of comments like, why didn't you read this way, that way? Or why didn't you take this card or that card? Please don't ever question readers. Just my opinion. There's a method to our madness. If we feel like the cards aren't right, or, you know, we could take the cards and Spirit says, nope, put them back. You know, that's not right. So, okay. Anyway, <laughs> Aries. Uh, well, see, and I don't take clumps like that. That's just kind of ridiculous. All right, Aries. Aries. What is the Spirit energy of this new person? Singles, new love. What is their Spirit energy? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, that one. You're not alone. We are here for you. We never left through all the sadness and loneliness. However, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much we love. We love how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So this person could be, um, maybe they are alone. And that's why <clears throat> they're, you know, and maybe they're a people person, but they're alone. And that's why they spend a lot of time in the community Right now, probably just online, like I said, Facebook, social, gro social groups, or websites, or something like that. Maybe they just really don't like to be alone, and they're kind of like <laughs> at this crossroads, like feeling very discombobulated because of the current circumstances in the world, and like, you know, where what's going to happen, you know, what's this world coming to, you know, what lies ahead kind of energy. All right, so let's get their love energy for you. For uh, Aries, what is this love? What is the love energy like of this new love, new incoming person who's coming towards you? For Aries, what is the love energy of this person? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Singles for Aries, new love who's coming towards them. Okay. <clears throat> Feeling that one. And we have amethyst, transformation, certainty, confidence. We have 41 there, which is five, which is change. So I feel like this person may have just gone through some uh, major change here or transformation. And that could be this, it could have been a spiritual uh, transformation also. Because the community, like I said, in this deck is all about um, spiritual community. Then they have indecisiveness here. So maybe they were indecisive about uh, the spiritual realm, the spiritual world, uh, spiritual gifts kind of energy also. But then they maybe they had an epiphany, aha moment, or maybe they experienced something that realized, you know what, maybe I really am not alone. You know, they have the presence of angels, the spirit guides, and the pastor of loved ones around them. So they might have received signs or something here that made them believe. And it sort of uh, gave them this, like they became enlightened here with the sun energy. So it transformed them. Something transformed them here. And now they have certainty of the spirit world. And they have a newfound confidence in, in themselves. Hmm, okay. All right. So maybe, you know, it gave them... <clears throat> You know new certainty and confidence within themselves to you know that they are lovable and they can you know and be worthy of love all right so let's see it's like bearing themselves bearing you know this woman is nude male or female just bearing it all not ashamed now maybe they're not ashamed now to bear themselves to bear uh their soul, who they are, their body. I feel like they're really going through a very big transformation in like always here. 
All right, so what is this energy like for Aries person, new love, <clears throat> who's coming towards them? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, wow, and the Ace of Wands, and the world. So <clears throat> here's the spiritual awakening, here's the truth, the clarity, epiphany, aha moments, a sort of victory here. So they've gained some kind of big epiphany, aha moment, realization, having total clarity about passion, <laughs> Zest for life, a newfound passion here. Closing out chapters, starting new chapters with the world energy. It's like they transformed, I feel like, com total completion here, like a total 360. You know, if they lacked confidence or clarity in life in the spiritual world, I, I feel like they've totally transformed their life in all ways. And now they're not afraid to love, to be sensual, sexual, um, spiritual in all ways they're having like a new world a new cycle for themselves wow okay so <clears throat> i feel like a spiritual awakening and then a new like passion passionate awakening within themselves about love and passion ready to set out a new journey a new world closing out ways that are no longer serving them letting go of fear You know, and the, all that kind of energy. So what else here for Aries? Yeah, <laughs> and they're natural energy Aries, but um, I feel like this person now is ready to take control of their lives. You know, feeling fiery, passionate, ready to take lead, control, charge, rule their life, their domain, live their life how they want to live it now. Not afraid. Not afraid of anything anymore. Not afraid of the spiritual world, not afraid of their sexuality, their passion. They're you know, build their confidence back confidence back up here. Alright, so I'm feeling pentacle energy here. They're much more stable now. They're feeling much more happier. Alright, so one more for Aries. Yeah, they were, you know, imbalanced, and I had said that. I had just said they're much more balanced now. Because they went through a par period here of feeling very imbalanced in life, love, life, everything. But I feel like they finally balanced out those energies here. I was just told to put it in reverse. So this is imbalance in reverse here. We're balanced out now. So I feel like they're really balanced out now. They took control. New cycle. Having spiritual awakening, clarity in all ways. And a new, you know... Lust for life, passion, desire. All right, so let's see, <clears throat> Aries, how and where you can meet this person. For Aries, please, singles, love, who's new love, who's coming towards them. <laughs> we got the lovers, wow. Soulmate union there. All right, a few more. Seven of Pentacles energy. So here we have fall. So let's get two more, and then I'll see like where and how you may meet them. Seven of Cups and Judgment here. You may meet them out shopping somewhere. Because you see this person look, looking at all these options, and here we have pentacles, like assessing, evaluating, looking looking at things here, and the judgment's about making a decision. So you may be like looking at something like in the store, I mean, any kind of store, anywhere, you know, and like, okay, you know, I don't know what to buy. You know, you're trying and you're trying to decide, and this person may see you like struggling to make a choice, make a decision over a purchase it could be a big it could even be a car it could be um so i see a lot of pentacles here so it could be a big purchase and maybe you're alone like trying to you know buy a new car or a big piece of equipment or something and you're like i don't know what to do here and this person may see you struggling and may come over and say oh well you know can i help you with something or strike up a conversation with you and it could be like instant connection instant attraction between the two of you 
or it could be vice versa. You know, maybe you see somebody struggling with something and, you know, you go over to try to help them make a decision about something. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. All right. So. <clears throat> let's see a timeline. Let's get a timeline for you, Aries. 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 When could you possibly be meeting this new love, this new person? Or Aries, please. Ooh, we got the devil. That's Capricorn season, which would be um, the end of December into January. That's like kind of a long time away, but let's see. Let's get a few more. So we have the Five of Cups. Oh, let me get the Magician reversed. So... Magician here is um, Gemini and Virgo. So Virgo is the end of August into September. And then we have summer energy here. So it could be the end of summer all the way up to the end of the year. So I know that seems like a big span, but um, cups is summer. Gemini season hasn't come yet, but we're in isolation, so I can't really count that. But Virgo is end of summer. So we got end of summer to either the end of summer or in December for some of you. So that could be different timelines for different people. So I'm going to say the end of summer or the end of the year for some of you. All right. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm not going to read the energy of these cards. This is just a time frame, so don't get too concerned about the devil there. Um, okay, so let's see. What kind of connection would this be? What kind of connection would this be for Aries, please? Thank you so much. <laughs> well, look at that. We've got the Hierophant. Commitment, marriage. Wow. <laughs> Possible uh, commitment here, long-term commitment, marriage possibly even. What else? What kind of connection would this be for Aries? Nine of Pentacles and the Star. So I don't didn't get any court cards here. I'm going by the court cards for uh, signs for you of what you know sign that this person may be. But here we have the star, so faith, hope, optimism. So somebody here could be single and waiting for their wish, their hope, their dream to come true, like their dream lover, their dream partner, you know, someone they would, you know, want to be married to. So somebody single here is wishing and hoping for their dream partner, the divinely guided energy, remaining hopeful and optimistic for a long-term commitment. Could be you or them or both of you. Energy is here for a long-term commitment. Wow. So, and I see very stable energy. Yeah, somebody is stressed and worried about, oh, am I ever going to find my person? Stress, worry, fear, anxiety, finding my person. But here comes balance, being patient, remaining balanced, staying patient, uh, healing energy, and then going in a better place, going to calmer waters here, Knight of Swords. So now we have uh, air energy, Gemini, Virgo, Aqu uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So this could be someone you've had past lives with, soulmate energy here, or someone you knew from the past returning quickly. Maybe somebody you've known since childhood, thinking back fondly of the past or just past life energy. Somebody could be returning quickly from your past, like your know, past, like from your childhood, childhood sweetheart here. So yeah, feeling somebody here, feeling little disenchanted, melancholy about love, like, oh, woo is me, love is never going to come to me, an offer is never going to come in from my person, when is it going to come? <clears throat> but here's the Empress, so now we have a matching couple, because we did have the Emperor over here, so now we got Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, so this is the soulmate, so this is a Divine Couple soulmate energy coming in for you. Someone will see your value, your worth, whether you're male or female, 
and will come and offer you this cup here that you can't see. Wow. Aries. So the major sign, I mean, we have a lot of majors here, but I'm just going by the court card. And really only court card I have here is air with the Knight of Swords. So they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So I do see long-term commitment, marriage, possibly. This is divinely guided energy. Soulmate, past life soulmates or a soulmate from the past coming in, returning quickly. Uh, maybe, <clears throat> I mean, you could be friends with them on social media, um, or something like that, or maybe you run into them, at, you know, out shopping for, like I said, a big purchase item. I'm thinking, uh, either the end of summer or the end of the year. Here, Aries. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.